Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you about welded unstiffened seat connection. So the given question is ISLB 400, which transfers the end reaction of 130 kN to the flange of ISHB 250. So for this, we are going to design unstiffened welded connection. I will show you the diagram. So this is ISHB 250. I mean, this is the flange part. For this flange, we are going to connect this ISLB 400 by using this cleat angle and seat angle. So unstiffened seated connection we are going to design. I mean we have to connect by using welding. Okay. I'll show you. So first we have to calculate the small b that is the bearing length of the beam. So the bearing length of the beam is nothing but from here this portion to from this portion this angle edge that is called the bearing length of the beam. So for the calculation of this B value, we are having the formula that is capital B minus root 3 into H2, which is less than or equal to B by 2. So for ISLB 400, the properties are given in page number 138, table number 46, IS 800, 2007. So width is 165 mm and thickness is 12.5 mm and thickness of the web is 8 mm. This is flange thickness and this is width of the flange. And R1 is radius of that root. For this ISLB 400, which is given in steel tables book. This value is available in steel tables book. These three values are available in this tabular form in IS 800 2007. So, for this uh, B value, by using this formula, force by F sub X P into thickness of the web. So, force is 130, which is given in question and reaction. And F sub X P is nothing but permissible stress which is given in page number 85, class number 11.3.3, 0.75 into 250, that is yield stress, 0.75 times into Fy. So thickness of the web is 8 mm. So I got 86.7 mm. After calculating this, I substitute all the values in this equation. So I got 31.44 mm, which is less than B by 2. Hence it is okay. After calculating this, I am assuming the clearance of 10 mm. I will show in the diagram. To connect these two, we need to uh, maintain the 10 mm gap, the clearance gap. Okay, that's why I'm assuming 10 mm gap. So center of gravity of the load. So for this center of everything, we need to calculate for every problem, CG of the load. So center of gravity of the load is nothing but this 10 mm plus 43.35. That is half of this section, half of this value half of this value is 43.35 in that half we need to take the center of gravity so 10 plus 43.35 by 2 equal to 31.7 mm so assuming 10 mm thick angle of size 150 by 15 mm here i am assuming 150 by 115 mm uh, angle the distance of critical section for this so this angle i am assuming as 150 by 115 mm and the critical section is here i am taking the critical section so we know this small b value and we have to calculate the critical section xx from the face of the column so here we are going to calculate the distance from end reaction from here to here so for that we have to add 12 mm this 12 mm plus this radius of the root so this radius of the root r1 equal to 16 mm which is given in steel tables here I mentioned okay after adding the values I am getting I mean this 12 mm is nothing but thickness of this flange okay this 12 mm plus this R1 so I got 12 plus 16 that is 28 mm actually this is this one is 12.5 I took it as a 12 mm it's not a problem so the distance of end reaction from critical section is 31.7 which we got minus 28 then the remaining distance is here total distance is 31.7 minus this 28 mm so after uh, subtracting these two values i am getting the value 3.7 mm after that the bending moment at critical section bending moment formula is force into perpendicular distance force is 130 and perpendicular distance is 3.7 i got this value after that factor design moment factor of safety nothing but 1.5 into this value so length of seating angle that is nothing but width of the beam so length of the seating angle is nothing but width of this beam 
so width of the beam is provided that is b sub x f equal to width that is 165 mm after calculating this we are going to calculate moment of resistance of the weld so moment of resistance of the weld is nothing but md equal to f y z p by gamma m naught so f y is yield stress we know that and z p value so for this z p value we have to calculate this g into t square by 4 nothing but z value is nothing but this is available in uh, this 140 value is available in steel tables page number 5 for ISLB ISHB 250 I'll show you the how the Z value is so this is the I section and this is the flange portion the Z value is like this so this value is available in page number 5 in steel tables book so Z equal to 140 so B into nothing but I'm considering this as B B into T square by 4 so T, T is nothing but thickness if suppose I am considering this as B into T is nothing but thickness of this flange. So that is thickness. Thickness is T. So by 1.25 is gamma M0. So I got MD equal to 7000 T square. I am equating the design moment. We get 7000 T square equal to 1.5 into 481 into 10 cube. Here the value. 1.5 into 481 into 10 cube that is factor design moment so i'm equating both the equations to know the t value so i got t value is 10.15 mm but we provided 10 mm but here we got 10.15 mm so i'm providing 12 mm angle okay so we are using isa 150 by 115 by 12 mm angle this is the final angle after the after selecting the angle we have to design the weld okay so this weld is design shear that is nothing but factor design shear 150 into 130 load so length of the vertical welds is 150 mm 150 mm is nothing but vertical welds so this is the 150 mm and next i'm considering t as a throat thickness of the weld and vertical shear stress equal to load by area formula load by area load we know that this is the load and area is 2 into 150 into t so l into b 150 is the length and t is the thickness l into b so two sides we are doing i got this value after calculating the distance of end reactions from this weld so already we calculated that is 43.35 by 2 half of this half of this value by 2 plus 10 i got 31.7 mm that is distance of end reaction from this weld and next moment of weld force into perpendicular distance force is 130 we know that and factor of safety 1.5 into 31.7 i got this value next we have to calculate horizontal shear stress here vertical shear stress and horizontal shear stress i'm considering this as r1 and this is r2 so i got load value this one and area and nothing but bt square by 6 that is the horizontal shear stress i'll show you the diagram so here this is the vertical weld and this is the horizontal weld so for this vertical weld directly l into b and horizontal weld we have to calculate the moment so that is bt square by bd square by 6 okay so that's why i wrote this one i got this one and next resultant shear equal to r1 square plus r2 square i got this value after calculating that strength of the weld we have to calculate in page number 79 in, in this class we know the formula f u by root 3 into 1 by 1.25 so f u value ultimate stress 410 we know that and 1.25 partial safety factor i got this value after calculating that i am equating these two equations i got t equal to 5.54 mm so size of the weld s equal to that is nothing but 0.7 times s in s equal to t so s equal to t by 0.7 so 5.54 by 0.7 i got 7.91 mm after calculating this i'm providing 8 mm weld here single angle is 12 mm thick 8 mm weld can be provided at the edge of angle by satisfying this class s less than or equal to 3 by 4 times the thickness in page number 79 in this class this uh, specification is provided 3 by 4 times the thickness we have to provide so i got this value ultimately we designed this seat connection this is the unstiffened seat connection and this is the cleat angle okay this is cleat angle 
CLEAT and this is seat connection. Like this we are going to design this unstiffened welded seat connection. I hope you understood this. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.